Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I'm back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us In today's video I am going to show you how to create with this my craft window and pocket die set so let's get started This set has 6 dies 2 window dies two pocket dies and two hinge dies there can be so many different ways to use these dies and i am going to show you some of them in this video so let's begin with our first project to start with i am taking a big window die and die cutting it with white card stock all these dies fit perfectly in the easy cut die cutting machine from just my craft Now here I have already prepared a card base. I did stenciling here with Dress My Craft straight line stencils. Because I am creating a window, I don't need this tab on top, so I am going to chop it off. For the inside piece of the window, I created this scene. These elfies are just so adorable. Now I'm adding both the pieces in place. To make it look more like a window, I decided to add a curtain on top. So for that, I took this pocket die and die cut it on white cardstock and distressed it with some yellow ink. Now I'm gonna layer this on top like so. And finally, to finish it off, adding a sentiment, and it's done. For the next project, I am taking a piece of white cardstock and die cutting it with Dress My Craft stripes background die. On the back, I added a lot of masking tape to hold all the pieces together. Now, for the fun part, I am going to die cut this again with small window die. We need the center piece to stay inside the frame, so I am adding some more masking tape on the back. to keep it in place So this is how it looks like Now I'm going to take out my watercolors and color it pink Keep it aside to dry. Meanwhile, die cut another frame with the same window die on white cardstock, and this will go right on top of the previous one which was created. Now, to save some time, I already created a background and simply added a bunch of frames. For the base, I have used bricks stencil. I got inspired to create this card from letter boards and I just love how colorful it is. Now they look a little incomplete so I decided to add a word. Here I die cut the word love from this my craft heart with swords die set. To give it some shine I embossed it with black embossing powder. Now I'm going to adhere one in each frame. There's a lot of die cutting involved in this card, but it really is a simple card. What do you think? And it's done. 
Moving on to the next project, here I have this tag and now I'm taking these two dies, kissing couple and couple and heart, decorating with them on white cardstock. For this tag, I decided to go with this one. Now I'm taking this pocket die and die cutting with this on white cardstock. Also gonna die cut these two hinges on white cardstock as well. As you can see in the middle of this die, it has created a score line. So I'm gonna fold this on that line. Do the same for all the pieces. Now let's assemble the pocket. This looks plain so I decided to add some texture to it. Now it would be better if you do this step in the very beginning before adding the hinges. Now distressing it with yellow ink. Once it's done, adhere it to the bottom of the tag as shown. Now I'm adhering the couple die cut in the back. Now to create the tag that will go inside the pocket, I am going to die cut small window die on white cardstock, attaching both the pieces together and adhering this on another piece of cardstock so that it looks nice and clean from the back. Now let's decorate this tag. With a sentiment and some tiny cute flowers. It looks super cute. Putting it in the pocket, 
and I have these clear heart shaped droplets and I'm gonna add these here To punch a hole on top, I have this 116 inch hand punch from just my craft. It's very lightweight and easy to use. All the punched out paper go in this alligator mouth shape kind of thing here. I don't know what exactly it's called so I hope you understand. Now adding a card to the tag and it's done. Later on I decided to add a sentiment also that you can see in the picture and with this it looks complete. Moving on to the last project of the day, taking another tag and this time I took this pocket die, die cutting it on white cardstock, scoring it on my dress my craft mini scoreboard and distressing it with pink ink. Now I'm taking the big hinge and adding it to the bottom of the pocket die cut. I took another pocket die cut and adhering it on the back as shown to hide the hinge and the score lines and then adhering this whole piece to the bottom of the tab. Yes, here I am creating just a simple flap from this pocket die. Now here I have these tiny die cut hearts and I'm going to add these here with the help of Trace My Craft fine tip tweezers. Adding these cute couple die cut on the back. You can add any sentiment on this flap and write a personal message inside. To finish it off, punch hole tie cord and add some little hearts and it's done. So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.